This is Darius from therabbitpad.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to insert and use text boxes in Google Docs. Unlike Microsoft Word, there is no easy access to using a text box in Google Docs. In Microsoft Word, you could usually go to the insert menu and there would be an option to insert a text box. But in Google Drive, it's a little different. You can use text box in Google Drive or in Google Docs, but it's different. In Google Docs, you have to insert a drawing. So go to the insert menu and select drawing. And then from there, you will get this blank canvas on which to make your drawing, which in this case will be a text box. And if you look up here at your options, you will see the option to use a text box. So once you click on that, you get to draw the text box. And from there, you can make whatever edits that you want to make to make the text box look the way that you want it to look. So I'm just going to write, hello, this is a text box. And from the Google drawing menu, you can adjust the size of the text box by clicking a corner and dragging the shape inward or outward. You can change the color of the interior of the text box by clicking on the paint bucket and so I just changed the color. You can also change the color of the borders and I will make this red. And you can also change the thickness of the border by clicking on the option with the three different lines. So I made this a really thick red and you can also change the type of border and you can make it little dashes like that. And once you have finished editing your text box, just click save and close. And now that text box is now a part of your document. Now, if you want to change the position of the text box in your document, um, once you make the text box, you just click on the text box and then this edit menu will appear at the bottom. You have the option of the text box appearing in line so that means that the text box will be like a big block of letters um, you will not be able to place this in between any words or anything that are in other parts of the document you can also have this be wrapped around your text so you can actually insert the text box in between the main text of your document if you want it to do that and you can also set it to break the text which means that it won't break the text that is there and every time you move it it'll move the text that is around it so this is how you use a text box in google docs if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. And also consider sharing this video with someone who needs some handy dandy Google Docs help. And please be sure to visit my website, which is therabbitpad.com.